Well, good day and welcome back. I'm going to do a job here that I've been saying I've been going to do for a long time since I've got the new lathe. I built this tailstock die holder when I had that small lathe before the AL960. It was a Morse taper too for the um, tailstock. The AL960's got a Morse taper 3. So every time I've wanted to use this, I've got to find a sleeve, put the sleeve on, and it's been giving me the shits. I'm going to make a new one out of some 4140 um, with a tang on it, same as that. Now, to do the angle, you see me do angles on using the dial indicator setup uh, with two dial indicators. Now, Jim from over at Tangent Engineering in America has been kind enough to send me a lathe compound sign bar. Um, I have never used one of these. I don't even have gauge blocks. I'm going to have to come up with a way to get the right spacing to run the sign bar. But overall, this looks like a really, really cool piece of kit. This is a 4-inch model. They come in 6-inch. 5 inch I think um, it's what they are they got earth magnets, rare earth magnets and they're bloody strong too these pins are 4 inches apart exactly so sits on the top of your compound slide and you can space the um, use the uh, gauge blocks or whatever you're going to use to get your right distance then you can indicate off this edge um, I reckon this has got a hell of a lot more uses than that than just on the lathe um, like on the angle plate on the like that big angle plate I made on the um, for the milling machine adjustable angle plate now you could use this to set the angles correct on that plenty of uses around so this is what I'm going to be using and we're going to see how good I can get the angle so I will put up some pictures here of some um, charts that, that Jim has made up for your common, like your Morse taper angles. It's a chart that tells you what gauge block set height you need yeah, to get the correct angle. Anyway, that's what we're going to use. So thank you very much, Jim. Go and check Jim out. Jim's the same fella that made the quill wheel for your... Bridgeport style mills, your yeah, mill drills, your yeah, square column mills, bench top mills. Yeah, he made the quill wheel, designed that as well. So you've got some pretty creative ideas, Jim. Anyway, I'm going to get this made because honestly, this is a job I've been wanting to do for a long time because it pisses me off every time I want to use this. I've normally left this on a drill somewhere in the drawer and I can't remember where I've left it. So. If I don't have to use a sleeve, I'll be happy. I got this set of PN drills I bought ages ago. And it's like there's something like 15 or 22.5, 2 mil, and then they, yeah, it's just a restock box really. So I worked out I need a 2.5 millimeter drill and about a 3 thou shim to get what I need. Well, I've been through and measured all the 2.5, and it's amazing how much they vary. But I think I've come up with a combination as close as I can get. Um, yeah, I've got a micrometer more on right that reads in tenths. So we need a hundred point or one hundred and yeah, three and a half tenths. So this is the best I can get. It's it's pretty much smack on a hundred and three tenths. I can't get any better than that. So I reckon that's going to be as close as what I can get it. So that's what I'm going to run with. Not a bad set of drills either for the price you pay. About a hundred and sixty bucks, a hundred and fifty bucks Australian. This material here is, oh, it's inch and a quarter, 
31 7 it's got to come down to just over 24 mil for a length of 100 mil so it's going to bulk that off using a WNMG So we've established we need two and a half mil drill and a um, two thousand shim to get our right offset on the sign plate. These magnets are unbelievably strong. Yeah, you can see how strong they are. So we need to tilt the table or the compound that way. So it blocks our drill and shim need to go in the front. So I've taken that shim out of the <coughs> out of the set just to make it easier. I really need to get a set of gauge blocks. to make it a 10 times easier job okay there it is so now we can back this off I've got to get an indicator and set it up don't even need to fear with the uh, screw there either get an indicator set it up and sweep this edge until it reads zero our compound set. I've got an indicator set up. Drill bit and the piece of shim is in there, I think. Yep, they're definitely in there. Alright. Start setting. No way I could have tapped that in right straight off the bat. Zero. Let's go from pin to pin. We're spot on, pin to pin. Well, I'm going to leave it right alone at that and um, cut it and use if you follow my other any other videos you know I use a sleeve that goes in the headstock it's a Morse 5 to a Morse 3 I use that as that's what I always use as a master we'll give that a go and see how close it is but as you can see that was simple as buggery to set up and it's way better than stuffing around with dial indicators I'm going to run with that and see what it does. Might just blew that up now with the master. Just see how we're looking. Oh, I blew it up. 
blow this up and see what it does. Wow, contact there, contact to there, that's all contact, I'm not complaining about that. Definitely get full contact. See it here. Well, I can see it anyway. Sorry, the battery went flat and camera turned off. Camera turned off, not camera turned off. Camera turned off. Um, like I was saying, I'm not even going to adjust that. I'm going to leave that well right alone. Now I'm just going to take another swipe just to get the length right. Honestly, I reckon just one more little light swipe will finish this off and leave it at that. That's it. Well, my thoughts on setting the taper that way um, and getting this result off the bat, I am pretty blown away, to be honest. Um, that took only half the time it took to set up when I used to do it with the dial indicator. You've seen on the last video, or a couple of videos ago when I was doing a taper. <coughs> that was just, it was a simple setup. And it's accurate. I don't really want to knock that on too hard because then I have to tap it to get it off. Like that. I'm pretty happy with that result. That quicker and easier than what I thought. All I need to do is get myself some gauge blocks now. Um, instead of fiddling around measuring bloody... 35 different drills and looking for vela gauges. I was just turning this down and I was thinking what I should do is take this out now while it's got some bit of size to it still and put it in the mill and put the um, the scallops in for the tang on the back of the taper because it's got to come down to half inch I think it's going to be a bit light to do it then.
good at that on that side. It's good enough. Come over and do this other side now. Shot it should have been seven point seven point nine, but for seven point seven point seven nine. Anyway, it's a bit narrower than what it should be, but it'll be fine. Okay, put this back up in the lathe now, and I'll probably hold it by the same end and just round this end off here while I can, while I still got a bit of rigidity. quite well so I'm pretty happy about that now I'll put it back in and we'll keep machining this face down here this has got to be down to half inch neat or thou under wouldn't hurt to be too thou under to be honest Yeah, I'm going to get this down, I won't bore you with that, just plain turn it. Now it took a couple of minutes to get that down. Um, move it down to half inch. And that's all we wanted. That'll do the job just nice. Now I won't have to worry about using that bloody sleeve all the time and give me the shits. Well, that is a really good job done and out of the way. Okay. To use this sign bar, compound sign bar, that was a massive time saver. If you've watched my other videos and you've seen where I've set up using the two indicators, it does take a fair bit of time. This here would have took less than half, in my opinion. That's what it felt like. Simple to use. And it works so can I recommend this yes I can like what I do need to get and what I what's what I should have had for a long time is a set of gauge blocks but I can't afford to buy a set yet so just gonna have to wait and improvise and do what I did like I done today with the drill bit and a feeler gauge but as far as the taper turned out it is absolutely Mickey Mouse I'm stoked and it on the tail stock it ejects perfect so mission done thanks very much jim i like the product definitely worth having one for sure but right, thanks for watching hope you liked that and um see you on the next build all right